that's the way to the airport. And this is coming around to the spit. Homer, oh, the spit, one spit. Homer's most famous attraction. It is a giant strip of land that goes out into the ocean that's been left from the receding glacier. You have to imagine that at one point there was a glacier covering this entire bay all the way up into the mountains. We'll kind of give you a little visual on that later. The spit's five miles long. It is the longest spit in the world. And they have some just neat fun things. There's a... Yep, there's a camping area on here. Um, it's not a bad place to camp and it's kind of neat. You're right in the ocean. The sunsets are beautiful. It's rather windy. It can be a little rowdy. Um, I don't know how much it costs anymore. It's obviously not awesome amenities. So that's something to consider if you're RVing. This is, yeah, Mariner Park. There might be another one up there. And this is a lot, it's a lot more empty than you're going to see it in the summer. This is just the beginning of uh, April right now. And uh, a lot of the shops aren't open yet. A lot of the restaurants that are tourist attractions during the summer are just closed for a little while longer until it gets warmer. Yep, so we'll walk around up there and give you an idea of what to expect. example of one of the cute little shops they have down here. I've heard really great things about La Baleine, but obviously it's not open right now. You can see for the winter, they shut everything down here completely. But in the summer, all of this is completely crowded with people. I, I don't want to call it a madhouse. All the parking is full, but it, it really is. The, it's just a really cool place to come down and you should definitely come down to this bit in the summer and check things out and shop, shop local. So this is the famous Salty Dog. It was built as a lighthouse a long time ago. I'm not gonna go in it today, but they have their own video if you YouTube Salty Dog. They've got a great video telling all about the history and showing you the inside. A secret door. A secret door. That's not even secret. Definitely, a lot of people wear t-shirts from here. Um, it's just a, definitely a local, a local place with a lot of character. Again, it doesn't look like too much right now in the winter, but this is a the happening place to be. All of these shops will be open, booming with different things. The parking will be tight. There's public restrooms here. Just uh, come, plan to spend the uh, the afternoon, spend a day here. It's it is absolutely just good stuff. If you're especially if you've never been to Alaska, it's pretty neat.
right here at the Homer Harbor. You see some of the local sea life. This right up here. This will be the Homer mascot. Mighty majestic eagle calls. All right, so here we have it. The question about the dock. One of the very few publicly owned fish docks in Alaska. Be really busy in the summertime. They're just starting the halibut season, and I think Todd's about to finish. This is April, beginning of April. Also a fantastic beach for playing with your kids. Or your spouse. Have a picnic. Open ocean. Yeah, this is Catchmack Bay by the way. Yes. In case anyone didn't know. This is a, uh, I don't think you could ask for a better day than this. I don't even see a cloud in the sky. All right, Coal Point Trading right on the spit. They have quite a large facility here. They have a sm they're processing and they have a, uh, even a smokehouse. So kind of a neat place. You, you saw the windows inside, or I'll show you the windows inside that you can watch them process fish. This is Coal Point's fish processing area. Some people bring in their personal catches. Some professional uh, commercial fishermen bring in their catches. They're really busy in the summer. You can watch them through their window here. This you can get bring. Yeah, you know, got a gumball machine. You can bring in your own, your own, and have them process it, um, or you can also just purchase some fish from their store. You saw all the different things that they sell there. I really appreciated that Cold Point sells their halibut in like half pound sizes. Everybody in Alaska packages everything in two pounds. And that's way too much for Nathan and I. And their bag. It was a handmade bag. I don't know if they do this in the summer too, but it's a, you know, it's simple, but it's a cloth reusable bag that they sell their fish in.
Right, Nathan's gonna help me demonstrate for you how the glacier works. It moves down the mountain slowly, but it's so forceful as it comes down, it's pushing all of this gravel with it when it comes down the mountain. And then when it melts and disappears, it leaves behind, in the end, a terminal moraine, and on the sides, medial moraines. And this is all dirt and gravel. And if you can imagine this all filling with water behind it, that is what you have, the homeless spit. It is basically just a collection of all the gravel that's been pushed down by the glacier, the powerful glacier coming down the mountain, it melts away and it leaves behind a mound, a moraine. And that is exactly what the spit is. Four and a half miles of dirt left by the glacier. and enjoying the sights. Anybody from Homer or has been to Homer knows about it. It goes out to the Russian village. Actually, it's not Russian. It's the Old Believer village. They have some sort of a, a Russian heritage. They broke off from the Russian Orthodox Church a long time ago. Actually, they ended up in South America, but a portion of them ended up out, uh, out of Homer, of all places. And so East End Road heads out to this Old Believer neighborhood. In looking for different restaurants, I discovered the general store out at Fritz Creek has brisket sandwiches and I thought man briskets good sounds like a little kind of a hole in the wall a little bit out of the way it's about eight miles down East End Road I was trying to show you a few of the uh, spit back there it's gone now at this point so just trying to pick out something everybody goes to the spit to get to check out food they've got fantastic food down there. there's a lot of great restaurants especially when you come in the summer but I wanted to pick something that was a little bit off the beaten path and so hopefully we won't be disappointed I mean it's brisket how can you be disappointed in brisket Well, I want to show the show, show everything that's in there, yeah. There we go. Eggplant. They're, they're form of a muffletto. I'm going to touch your food, sorry. Okay. Cheese. Okay. Gotta get that it's warm, yummy. Yeah. 
What do you guys have there? This is a roast beef and provolone. Is there mustard on it? I there is mustard and mayonnaise, but I took the vegetable off of Nathan's hand. Oh, of course. Hand. That's going to be awesome, I am Nathan. I'm so glad. Yeah, it's not the right one. What part of the mind? That one. I heard they smoked their brisket overnight. I'm looking at this. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. That is really good looking brisket right here. What time do you guys start serving your brisket sandwiches in the morning? I know you open at 7, but you're not going to serve better. Oh, I don't see that. Oh, here, Andrew. Look at the Ooh. <laughs> the, the baker's here at 7, maybe 8 o'clock. That looks really good. You're really hungry. If you, like, if you spent all night and you need a brisket sandwich. What do you think, Nathan? How do you like it? You like it? Good, good. Hey, come for it's free. It smells so amazing in there. Are you are you birding in my absence? <laughs> you guys are. <laughs> There's no words to describe that. It smells absolutely fantastic in there. Anyone who's ever said anything about Homer always says Two Sisters. You have to go to Two Sisters Bakery. I got pepper and Parmesan baguette. We're gonna have it for dinner. That looks pretty good. Yeah, and. I'm lucky because they bake it in the morning, so I'm lucky that at six o'clock at night there was still anything left to have. Here's my Gladstone sandwich from Mike's. It's goose, 
with greens and feta cheese. Oh, dude, those are totally big blackberries for the raspberry for their vinaigrette. There's goose meat in there. They said feta. That looks like brie. Anyway, I'm gonna give it a try. We waited till we got out of town so that we could uh, have a picnic. Well, sorta. Of. I'm in the truck picnic. At Anchor Point. Yeah, Nathan and I are eating Lay's snacks. We're not that sophisticated. That's why we're semi-serious. <laughs> Alright, so we all know that Homer's known for seafood. This sandwich is outstanding. I have not chosen poorly in picking the duck. Uh, it's phenomenal. They also have like a lox eggs benedict and some things like that that I really wanted. Because it's Sunday brunch. Because it's Sunday brunch. But we make holiday sauce at our house already. And we don't have duck. And I have I have chosen well. It's uh it is the the flavors blend incredibly well. The duck is super tender and it is a good choice. So we're leaving Homer. Our trip wasn't particularly long. There were so many more things that I would have loved to show you. Uh, I would say you probably need a couple of very solid days in Homer at least to really explore different things. There's a ton of different food. In the summer, it's totally different. Like I mentioned, things are open, things are booming. Um, just a really eclectic and creative town. There were a lot of things that we didn't get to show you, including uh, there's a bowling alley if you and your family want to spend some time indoors. There's a playground way up on the hill, but who needs a playground when you have the ocean? If you go to church, there are plenty of churches, and if you like beer, there is plenty of beer. We didn't show you the Homer Brewing Company. There's also a winery just shortly off of the East End Road. So there's a huge number of other things. You know, we live in a world where you can Google, you can look some things up, and I highly suggest it. Check out the places that we showed you. Check out campgrounds. Um, I'd say look up other YouTube videos, find some fun things, some other fun things to do down there, and uh, certainly share your favorite things when you come to Homer with us. We'd love to see it. Be sure to check out our Homer halibut recipe and our road trip advice, and you can click that semi-serious button to subscribe and see more videos. My mom's got way too many bubbles. Where's daddy? Can you find daddy? Hmm? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I can see a bald head. Oh. <laughs>